If you ever wanted to know how to post to Instagram from your desktop computer, this is it. Business.facebook.com Creator Studio. Or if you don't use um, the Business Ad Manager, then it's just Facebook.com forward slash Creator Studio. This will take you to this page. This is slowly rolling out for uh, the public, a brand new tool. And uh, it starts with this screen, Get Started. So as it reads here, um, you can post directly to a manage and filter uploads from any page in your new content library, get insights on the content your audience, upload multiple videos at the same time. So it's also photos, videos, and it has the IGTV videos if you would like to post to Instagram for that. That's a pretty hot thing, but not stories yet. So let's get started and go through the process. So once you get in here, the first thing is it takes you on a little walkthrough like everything else does. So see the pages that matter. So how many pages I control, that's 32 of them. I already I run in a digital marketing agency. So um, a lot of client stuff. Uh, and you can then link it or not link it and see what's linked and what's not along the top. So this is the area that it is with the drop down here of all the pages that you'd have linked and control over. Next, um, you can see all the recent posts in the last seven days that went out on these pages. And over here, this is the uh, left-hand dashboard that you can have a content library on Facebook, uploading images, insights, which is analytics, essentially, of the engagement and conversion-based ratios, inbox, I guess it's a direct link with your messenger, monetization, a whole bunch of stuff down the sides here, which is fantastic. So let's go done and take a look around. These are the business accounts that I have on my page. I'm not going to drop that down right away. So in this video, I've just kept the check of my um, check mark of my the page that I want to view. So I'll just keep my uh, agency one on and uncheck all the rest of the pages that you or myself manage. And then we can see the uh, recent posts stats here and what's been going on in the last seven days. So not a lot of activity going on. I think I posted little engagement, so three comments and whatnot. Um, I've been pretty light uh, for my own agency marketing these days, but, um, oh, I'm not gonna close that, so I'll leave that open. But up here, it shows you if you've linked Facebook, and then you can see over here, Instagram. So it looks like you might have to connect the account, so you can go ahead and connect to and link, share Instagram access with Facebook page members. Yes, the Facebook page members, let's do that. And Okay, we will link up to our primary uh, account here and log in and attach to our Instagram account so that it links up and is linked within the Creator Studio. And then we can see a whole bunch of fun little things that are uh, sent up, deleted, released, that engagement, likes, comments. It's pretty fascinating stuff as you drill in here, but I guess it gets down to the comment level. And um, you can see what's going on here. So let's go back to the Creator Studio on the top left here. That's your main one, just like a home button. And see, how do we go about this? New Instagram, you'll be able to publish directly on Instagram and IG. So that's great. Um, this is coming. So I guess I don't have necessarily the availability to do it yet. But um, over here, we can, we can see this is our content library. I've never done IGTV. There's video posts, photo posts, carousel. It's a good good place where we can you know, see all the things that we've actually posted over years to come um, and uh, take a look. And you can view the post here. Let's see, let's see, let's go view post. Ooh, uh, see how it comes out. And there it is. And we can play it here within the, uh, the player and uh, continue to evaluate the kind of interaction that it's had for engagement. Uh, you can even go to the post directly on um, uh, in your browser, but we won't do that right now. So uh, going back to the main area here, we have the Instagram accounts, we have the insights also, which this is the stuff that really um, uh, I'm really interested in. So you can choose the one. So I've only got that, um, the main one selected right now in the primary area. So it just gives me all the data on that. And we can go in to look at a whole bunch of analytics in regards to our accounts. So this is pretty, this is pretty, pretty fantastic stuff because I've, I've always had not, um, a want, a desire to post directly from my desktop computer for myself and for clients sometimes. And um, that that's a huge thing. So the thing is that it's rolling out right now and you can see that this is not um, available yet to post. So it's slowly coming out. So even if we, um, to, that we can post to Instagram. So if I went back over to Facebook and I wanted to post something, this is where I would do it here on the main page of Facebook right there and then make sure that my account's selected and then I can choose what do I want. Do I want to do a live video, a video, a photo? And um, once that's, uh, here is a test. 
and then I could add a uh, photo gimbal that I'm buying for the company um, here um, and I could discard now uh, no I want to stay here uh, here is a brand new company uh, video tool uh, we're using it on client productions in 2019 you know and this is the new DJI uh, gimbal Osmo 2 is pretty fantastic fun stuff for content creators but I, essentially you could do that and you could set it up so that it goes to your Facebook page on this and you can publish otherwise the one that I really like is schedule here where you could schedule it when it was going out and I can set it to go to the 14th at 1 o'clock p.m. and go schedule and it would now be ready to go out um, on that date so let's go to the um, content library and see finish later close all these little um, things so here's in this area here there's uh, all posts all published and then scheduled here and this should actually uh, refresh so that we can see that but for some reason it's um, not showing. sometimes it takes a bit so just letting you know that it does take a bit to get there so there it is now now it shows up and it just took a couple seconds and it's there so you could actually delete this if you wanted to um, by discard you lose yes I want to do that you can discard it by this clicking on here and then delete to get rid of I don't really want that post to go out yet so I'm going to delete it but that's how you could schedule a lot of posts for your Facebook page there's other ways directly in the back end of your Facebook page but that's pretty neat that we can do this directly in a dashboard it's a lot cleaner in my opinion um, than the back end of a Facebook page uh, that's kind of um, small so it's a really nice dashboard for content creators social media managers and posters so um, I guess it's a it's a wait game essentially to wait for the um, availability to be able to post on Instagram and uh, I'll just be waiting for that until this button shows me that I can post directly to Instagram from the Creator Studio uh, Facebook tool which this is fantastic because then um, the, all these APIs and things that link with other tools out there that exist for social media management that's great but this is free and this is directly in Facebook and part of Facebook so it'll be less buggy less problems and you could just on the fly have it bookmarked in your bookmarks and um, do this anytime and give it to your clients also which I will be giving access as soon as I see that um, we've got the full capabilities of posting to Instagram using this uh, Creator Studio tool. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, let me know, and um, I'll see you in another one.